my tumblers from makerflowcrafts.com, okay? All of this that you see, under $7. It also comes with a box to ship in and a care card for instructions. Make sure to hit that save button. I'm gonna go fast. To put your brand, you can get labels like this, 100 of them for $35 on Amazon. Epoxy, I just use the Amazing Clear Cast. For my tumbler turner, I just use a cheapo one off of Amazon. I do not sand my turners. Tumblers. <laughs> <laughs> for glitters, I do use some fancy schmancy polyester, but Walmart ones will work fine too. Okay, so if you're gonna do a crackle effect, use Elmer's glue and then use acrylic paint over it. The brushes that you can get, you get a pack of these at the Dollar Tree. Alcohol inks, use pinata. Water slide paper from Amazon. A lot of people don't know, but you can get free packing supplies from the post office. Here's how I get mine. So go to usps.com, go to mail and ship, click stamps and supplies, then go to supplies. Make sure you leave this on, click free shipping supplies, and then take off shipping supplies. And here are all the free boxes that you get mailed to your house. You can actually pick these up at the post office also, but the ones that I use are only able to be shipped to my house. So you could order in packs of 10 or packs of five, and then you could choose the quantity of how many you're gonna get. So I click a lot just so that I never run out. Add to cart. And here are the ones that I get. Keep shopping. And these are flat rates, so they're always $8.40 no matter where in the US. And here's my total, $0. Good for all the new business owners that are starting out right here on TikTok. Have a good one. If you're starting a business, I have six very useful apps that will probably change your life and change your business before it even starts. Okay, this is the very first one. This app helps you choose your colors for creating your logo, for creating your brand, just to keep everything in sync. If you don't have a color picked out for your brand business, get this app. It's absolutely free. Google Voice is great if you have a service-based business or if you have a product-based business. This can give you a business phone number. You literally sign up for free and you can get a whole separate number that you can use as your business phone number. Hashtag expert is great for Instagram posts, figuring out what hashtags to use, what hashtags to not use, which one are best, which one are trending, all that good stuff. This should have been my first recommendation, but this app is so great with organizing your ideas and thoughts and putting it all in one place. You can get it on the computer, phone, and All right, business owners, show us where your packaging stuff is from. Let's help people out. Some people are starting off the way we were starting off at one point. So let's show them in the right direction. Show them where you get your packaging stuff from and show some love. So I'm going to show you what to buy and not to buy at Walmart. So these bottles are only a dollar. They're 22 ounces and really fun to customize. Next are shipping boxes. Definitely don't buy these here. They're overpriced and you can get some for a lot cheaper online. So this is the site that I like to use. It's called you Pack and Ship. The same size boxes are 25 for $8. So that's about 30 cents each. And they also have really cute poly mailers. I like to buy my shipping labels and business card templates at Walmart. They're really cheap and you can get 90 business cards for a little over $4. This is a sticker paper I use to make the artist album acrylic signs. You can get 15 sheets for about $20. And this is the dye I use for my tie dyes. It's only $3 a bottle at Walmart. Toast girl, yeah, yeah. Hey, baby, let me see it. I just want to eat it. So when it comes to business finances, right after you register your business, which is a must, 
After that, you wanna open up two business bank accounts. The first is your business checking. That is where you're gonna attach all of your money coming in through PayPal, through Stripe, whatever, through any sales. And that's also where money gets to go out. So where you pay expenses like website, like coaching, stamps, whatever you need. Um, and then the second bank account is where every single month you're gonna take your ex everything coming in, your revenue, minus your expenses, and that is your profit. Then you're gonna take a percentage of your profit, depending on where you live. Um, a good estimate is about 30%. Take 30% of that profit and put it into your tax account. This enables you to keep it completely separate because not setting aside enough money for taxes is the number one reason why small businesses fail. Small business people. Um Pro tip, use eco and clothes. I just got my very first package in and I'm super happy with the quality. I ordered 500 bubble mailers. Um, I got the four by 6.75 inches size. They're made with recycled content. They're recyclable and they're reusable because they have two seals. Um, they're also waterproof, which is super important when you're selling something. DIY light box for your photos for under five bucks. First thing we're gonna do is go to Dollar Tree because you know, it's super cheap, super affordable. I'm getting one of those science boards, you know, the three folding ones. And then I'm also getting a poster board. Next, you want to get tap lights. They didn't have tap lights. They had these to turn off and on. Works perfectly. I got three of those. Now cut the flaps off of the board, just like this. I'm going to take the poster board and put it on top of the cardboard and measure it and just cut it out so it can be the same size. Now you're going to cut the cardboard in half evenly, you know, hamburger style. So that the top and the bottom of the box are going to be exactly the same size. You're also going to cut the flaps as well. I couldn't fit everything in right here, so part two is up right now. Top free apps for creatives check. Have you ever wanted to steal the color palette of something in real life? I do it very often with Adobe Capture. Literally launch the app, point it at anything, and boom, you've got a new color palette. So you're not making any sales. You're tired, you're exhausted. Guys, running your own business is not easy. There are going to be days where you don't want to do anything at all. And that's completely okay. No one said building your own business was going to happen overnight. So if you need a break, girl, allow yourself to have it. Part two of our DIY light box for your photos. You're going to get tape and put it along all the edges so it creates a nice box. Next, you're going to get the poster board and you're literally just going to stuff it in. Then add a little bit of tape so that it doesn't move. Take your tap lights, put one on the top and one on each side, and then get ready to take some bomb video and photos. Well, they tried to scam me again. Let me tell you about the labor law poster scam and how to avoid it. And then we'll expose these guys. They only did a decent job with this one. It only kinda looks like a government letter. Let's open it up and look inside. Let's go over all these red flags one by one together. Not a government address. Hitting you with fine notices right off the bat? That's not like them. That's not enough time to respond. And it's way too much money. Hey, look, they're asking for emails that aren't at .gov addresses. When was the last time you saw the government use a QR code? No document number in the bottom left. Big deal. Oh, let's read the fine print at the bottom. A non-government publisher of compliance posters. Huh. The back of the notice is nice and scary. Let's dig deeper. Hey, look at that. We found it. Non-government publisher of labor law employment posters. This service has not been approved or endorsed by any agency of the government. Be good to feature you guys. Don't get scammed. If you have an enamel pin business, keep watching. If your fingers get sore from manually removing the rubber clutches, then you need this tool. It's the pin clutch remover tool. I got mine on Etsy from Galloway Labs. They have other colors and two different sizes to choose from. Mine is the white one in jumbo. I think it's like $1.50 more than the regular size, which is a lot smaller. But yeah, you just slide your pins through and it easily just comes off like this. And when you're done, you just slide the lid off and all your rubber clutches are inside. I know a lot of people use Jiffy shirts, so then I ordered some from there and also ordered some from Shirtspace. Both of them arrived quickly, however, Shirtspace is a little bit cheaper. So you finally started your own business. Let's go over the side hustle checklist. Start by forming an LLC. You can do this with your state. It's fairly affordable. 
or you can pay a company to do it for you, but don't pay more than a few hundred dollars. Next, get an EIN. They're free and easy to get. I made a video on exactly how to do it. Then we're gonna take the LLC and the EIN and we're gonna open up a bank account. It doesn't matter where, just get a separate bank account. Always check with your city. Some cities require permits like Los Angeles. The most important one, keep good records. No exceptions. Never mix your business money with your personal money. Keep everything separate. It's easier to do taxes, it's easier to do accounting, and it's easier to save money with write-offs. Be good to future you guys.